What is up, YouTube? How's it going, friends? Made some new improvements today, or actually, in the past couple of days, I think. So, so far, and for who's new to my channel, I'm going to be making a Netter YouTube account later on. And it's going to be number uh, RC channel. And then I'm going to have secondly three YouTube channels. That's going to be hectic. But one's going to be for. Let me just turn around real quick. It's going to be for RC. The other one's going to be for gaming videos like Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Farming Simulator 19, maybe. I had it since I think this year when it first came out and haven't played it until last month or this month something like that so yeah it's kind of interesting but that's what I'm gonna do still got to figure out a couple of names for them and then my channel Nick shop and it's gonna be number like vlogs and stuff like that so hopefully everything goes out pretty good but so far I got my staircase it's good to go it works pretty well. Nice string went by. This is still working progress. I still don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, here's my HO layout. Looks like different donut guys. Everyone, I must say guys, but ladies and gentlemen, let's just say that, ladies and gentlemen. He used to be my, um, it's a four by eight battle reactment between the rebels and the yankees but you know having out here comes out to about almost about here of a space so i only have maybe like a foot of space and it just got to the point where i can't do it no more so i'm going to take half this part knock it down to three foot and then i'm gonna have an end, end scale layout coming up and then wrapping this way i was gonna take my rc part or rc yeah, RC Park. Come down, across, have a bridge. The rope bridge is up still. And have a plank of wood going from this side to that little side. Up on my TV stand. And then over here. But I decided I want to do my in-scale layout from here. Come down. And then L-shape that way. So it's going to be pretty cool when I get that wrong. And over here. I just got these, I drill holes in them, pre-drilled holes, screw them in, so they're all screwed in. I uh, hot glue this side in, staple this side, staple this side, hot glue this side, and put like wood putty on it. to give it more of a texture a little bit. Stain did everything. It looks pretty good. I gotta buy more stain later. <coughs> Sorry about that. But this here is close to seven foot and it's made it's by four foot oh I'm sorry oops one I can't read really tip measure I suck at it I'm gonna say one foot by 16 maybe, I don't know, or four, whatever. It is what it is. I'll, I'll learn later how to read it. But this is what I did. Screw this side into the wall. This here is screwed into this piece, the table. And then this piece here is screwed into this side. And then I'm going to be taking this low on board, coming across like this, and it'll be like that. But I might make more braces in between, but I don't know yet. I might just leave it and see how well it works. It's going to be pretty cool. I got one cross base to make it, I mean this thing is sturdy, so I don't need another leg. And then it comes down here, this screws into the wall. And then this piece of board here screws into this here. And then uh got my cross brace here, got one screw on here, 
I'm gonna screw here, and then this side is screwed into that piece that I put in. Works out great. My homemade table I made. It's awesome, and that's how I got my rope bridge hooked into. And then I got that piece screwed into the wall. And then on this one, I got the screws screwed into there. So this, I mean, it is sturdy, so I can go like that. It's it's pretty sturdy. And then I put my glue on board right on it. Nice and sturdy, so I can come up, drive up over here, and drive up and do all that kind of chorus. This is just temporary for... So like it's raining outside and I want to do something inside the house, well I can do it. I can actually drive my RC stuff inside my house. And then I got my dad's stuff up here. <laughs> I got around hanging that up. Got parts of my collection hanging up. Because that is so cool. And then behind here, I got the Corvette hanging up. Which is pretty awesome. And then I got my dad's models and stuff like right here. That's pretty awesome that he did. Um, extra wood that I'm using. So far I'm done with all this. Everything's will be right there. This is my other piece I got to put in. Probably about where my bridge is at. So it gives it more of a texture going up it. Since I stained it. It's a lot more harder to climb. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is actually sewing string that I have. So when my trucks go, it can actually keep the boards kind of sturdy. So that way, when I'm driving up here, it doesn't sink down and my transmission will hit. Oops. So my transmissions don't hit and get caught between the planks here. It has happened. And then I Ripley. Kate. And then I have my six by six um I guess you could say spin tires model. And then here's the back of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might buy a trailer. And have it on her because it's just too heavy for this. This truck is down for good because one of the axles I broke. So I think I got the gear stripped out of this one and this one so that it won't move. So, yeah, not a good thing. Got my daughter's truck fixed. Because uh, the pieces here keep breaking right there. That holds the, you can see where the glue is at. Now I don't have to worry about that. It's all fixed. Works great. These are the M90 axles. As you can tell, they're more beefier. But the plastic gears in it stripped. So this still doesn't really work. So I'm buying a whole complete new chassis. Fully upgraded. Only thing I do have to do is throw my body and parts and motor and stuff like that into it. And then here's my army truck that works out great. I might take out the two speed and put it in this truck here. Which is pretty cool. Or take the two speed, get rid of this monkey little motor. <coughs> this is the M90 with, um, or MN90, I think it's called. With the C14 axles. Or C24, doesn't really matter. But so far, it does pretty good. Axles work, it's got the original tires back on it. As you can tell by these tires, I have army tires. And then I got my upgraded, which I had cut my body to fit these tires, which they do fit. So that's why I did that. Addison has. They're all soft tires. And this truck is awesome. Aston's truck does awesome. 
I haven't tried out the 6x6 yet, which I'd love to try out. And this truck, oh yeah, the MN9 D90 does awesome as well, except for it's too back heavy. So when you're going up, the front end will lift up and kind of do wheelie and fall backwards and stuff. But so far, that's it on this update. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. But before I do go, this one's got a upgraded servo in it, which takes one of these controllers. And this one, same way, takes this controller. And the MN has the same controller. These have the um, new sticker boards that M or WPL came out with, which I can use controller with the steering arm. Upgraded servo with the same thing. Takes one of these. Which I forget which one it was. So, this one already has the upgrade ready to run, but I switched it out, modified it, and put one of these in it so that I can run. It's in this truck here. Yeah, that's how I have it set up in the hood. <laughs> so I can run my bed right here. It does look pretty good. That's it. Done. Same thing with this truck. They're all officially upgraded. Where they all can use the same battery. Or if I wanted to. I can use the stock batteries. Which these are the uh, rechargeable. Ener energizer rechargeable batteries. <laughs> Just hook it up. Charge it and done. Um, which. That's my Xbox. Where's my Xbox. And here's my brother's. This is the donor truck that we used. To make the MN90 down there possible. So yeah. Give me a. If you like it. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, more updates coming. On. I might do like a time lapse. I'm going to try to figure it out. How to do a time lapse. On this phone. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I have to figure it out. I haven't done it yet. Uh, I think I did it before. But. It's been a while, so I have to play up the settings and kind of talk about it and do step by step. I don't know if I'm going to put more joiners in or just leave it and just screw, screw the planks into the board and hopefully it gives it structure where it doesn't really do this. You know, like it doesn't really bow. So, thanks for watching. See y'all later.